agree, both of these wines are from our estate, which is a 15 acre property on the Willamette Valley floor, just right across the street from Silver Blossom and Dundee. Yeah. All own rooted. Fortune cookie, and it said a cheerful note is on its way to you. And I was going to visit him that weekend. And so he took a picture of it, and sent it to me, and we had bottled our Pinot Gris. Read it as perfect. In the valley, without labels. I don't know you. All I know is you're like, Oh my god. Oh, that's kind of how it goes. You take the first line of the script now. Uh, <laughs> so, this is our 2017 white wine blend. A uh, mix of six different grapes uh, from uh, three different vineyards here in the valley. It is our kind of nod of sorts to a style of wine from uh, Austria, specifically Vienna. Oh, high acid, uh, high acid white wine. And uh, so, it's interesting because we're, we're going to be on our fourth vintage this year, but uh, we've only actually lived here full time since. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, long time coming kind of thing. Yeah. Well, Libertine uh, is one who eschews all cultural uh, values, uh, pure hedonism. Uh, I attended Reed College in a previous life. It's just that there was always another chair, whether it was, you know, an upside down milk carton type of thing or something. They always right. figured out another chair at the table and it's that happy chaos. Joy I'm going to do, do America's first white cab franc. So that's what I did. And that was 2011, and I had one barrel, and it was an oak barrel, and now I use exclusively acacia. acacia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, if you want. Rosé. Uh, green grapes made just like a red wine, so seven days in contact. 